Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today we've got a three-way shootout between single-fold deployant clasps. As mentioned in the thumbnail, we've got three very different price points. Starting off down here, we've got the basic Chinese unit. This is under $10, sold under a number of different brands. This one happens to be under the De Beer name, no relation to De Beer's jewelry, but you'll find it under a variety of different names. It's the exact same part. This isn't the first one that I've gotten, but I got one here just for this video so I can show you. Now, all three of these come in a variety of sizes and colors. However, availability is hit or miss, especially in this polished. Up in the middle here, this is the often recommended. I see this recommended all the time in lots of watch groups and forums, the Hadley Roma. Very similar. I was expecting there to be a bigger difference between these two, given that this one is pushing $30. And a lot of people say, oh, oh, it's so much better. But we'll take a look and you can decide for yourself. Then up here, we have the most expensive. Now, the price point on this, you have to consider shipping. It comes from the UK from WatchGecko. They have two basic shipping options. You can, of course, overnight, and but you're going to spend as much as the clasp on that. I suggest you go with the expedited regular shipping. It's UPS, and it comes to you in three or four days, and it's only a couple dollars extra than the regular slow boat shipping, which I've also used from them, and that can take a week and a half to two weeks. So with expedited UPS shipping, this one is just under $40. So 10, 30, and 40 is what we're looking at. So let's start off down here. This one is available all over Amazon. I'll put a link down below. It is very good quality. I have no complaints about the fit. Nothing is loose. Everything looks good. The chrome plating is very nice. We've got stainless steel written on the back there. And it's a very smooth design. The edges aren't especially rounded, but there's nothing catching my skin, no burrs, nothing I have any problem with wearing. It does come with a spring bar here, so you're all set. Operation is very straightforward. It is a little hard to open and close, but that's a good thing because this does not have any locking lever. All we have is this little bent metal tab right here, and it goes on this little roller right there and it locks into place as it comes down. On your wrist, it's easier to use, and I like that it has a good amount of tension because that means it's not gonna pop open on your wrist if you're wearing it tight. And you do this, sometimes if it's too loose, your clasp may pop open, especially if you have a very short tail on your strap, but this, I have no problems with doing that. You actually have to pick it and force it open on your wrist. So no problem there. The little buckle end here is just a tight, again, bendable metal fit. There are no locking tabs or anything like that. And it is, again, a very secure fit. The pin goes almost all the way up. So no problems using thinner bands Sometimes I've had them where the pin is very shallow and you have a, a large gap between the actual top of the buckle top here and the pin and the strap can start sliding out because it just is too thin and there isn't enough engagement. But no problem here, just a little bit of a gap and that's it. So very straightforward, very inexpensive, does the trick. You can see the look of it here besides my fingerprints. It's a nice polish, and we've got a bit of a curve here on the design. Now let's look at the near $30 option from Hadley Roma. Very similar, extremely similar. Again, no rounded edges. There is one very, very slight burr. It's just on the plating. I can't even see it on this corner, but I can feel it. This corner here is fine. This corner here, you can see it's leaving lines. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of sandpaper and just give it a figure eight and that'll take that right away. Like I said, you can't even see it. You can just feel it just, just on that corner there. No big deal. Other than that, no problems whatsoever. Design is almost identical 
to the generic Chinese. We've got less of a curve on the buckle. It's more of a straight across design. Same type of lock and latch. It's just a bent piece of metal and a roller. Still requires good effort, so it's gonna stay shut. The metal tab here is a little bent. You know, just a quality control issue. I don't have to do anything about it though. And incidentally, if, you're, if your snapping motion is too tight or too loose, this is what you would adjust. Just use a carefully with a pair of pliers and bend that tab a little tiny bit one way or the other. And then the roller that it goes against is up here. It's a little closer to the edge on the Hadley Roma, whereas the generic one is a little bit down. It doesn't affect use at all, but just a design note. The roller's down here as opposed to right at the edge. Stainless steel stamped in the same place, but reversed. And you can see that the overall design, well, I think there's probably some parts sharing going on. <laughs> Maybe we've got the bar here attached just a little bit differently, but not much. You can see the bent piece of metal is on one direction versus the other. A little bit thinner bars on the Hadley Roma versus the generic. Let's see the overall thickness of the units. Just trying to look for any detailed differences. Not that this stuff really matters. What you're probably gonna pay attention to as far as which you want to buy is the look of this metal loop part. Do you want it straighter or do you want it more curved? They're both slightly curved. I mean, neither one is a straight bar, but that's about it. Other than that, they function identically. Now, the Watch Gecko. Another $10 over the Hadley Roma. Very different construction. Notably, this one has more of a curve. Luckily, it doesn't bother my wrist, but it may bother yours. Sometimes this can dig in depending on the curvature of your own wrist. I have seven and a half inch wrists and it doesn't bother me a bit. Fills in just perfectly. Here we can see the curve of the other two. <laughs> if I can get it straight there. So you can see it's just a little bit more. Just a little bit more arc and a little bit more curve. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Hadley Roma. Same type of just tension on this uh, buckle part here. It's a little looser though. It's easier to open and close. It's not gonna come open on you. And the other difference is this pin goes all the way to the metal loop. But again, no problems with operation of either that or the Chinese one, the generic. Chinese one. I have no doubt both of these are both Chinese. This probably is also, let's face it. But looking at this one, very, very different construction. First of all, the roller part here that goes onto what was the buckle end of your strap is fixed. It does not flop around. I like that. Both of these are on pin hinges. So what that translates to is when you're opening or closing it, this whole contraption flops around more as you're taking the watch strap on or off. I'll show you that in a second. Whereas this one only has the one pivot point right in the middle. So it stays nice and wide over your hand as you're putting it on and off. Especially if you have a thicker strap and holds more tension here. So you might notice very different buckle end design. Man, they these things are fingerprint magnets. I'm especially seeing it right now under the lights and the camera. <laughs> but uh, I need a microfiber cloth. I don't have one right here. You get the idea. I just hate you guys seeing that fingerprint. It really does look good in person. Oh wait, my shirt. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, I'll try not to smudge it more. I didn't even get it all off. Anyway. We've got push pins, we've got a locking clasp. I like that so, so much better. It's not even close. To me, this is my favorite design. I don't care if it was $50, I would prefer this over a push pull without a lock every single time. Okay, another major difference you can see is the width of the actual part that hits your wrists. It's wider. You know, it's only about 10% wider maybe 15, but it's wider and it 
feels better to me on the wrist. This disappears more. Sometimes I can feel these. It's also happened to be due because these are nice rounded corners. We've got, what does that say? Gakoda on the back there. But these corners all rounded and polished. There isn't any kind of sharpness or burr. These aren't what I call sharp, but if you compare the two, these will feel sharp to you because you can feel the edges. They're not rounded. They're not sharp. They're not snagging or anything like that. But this feels like butter in comparison. You do not feel this on your wrist at all. It just disappears. It's absolutely perfect. There's nothing sticking out anywhere. But here's the big thing. These two locking levers do two things. First, they unlock the clasp. You only have to push them in about halfway and it almost springs open by itself. Very easy to close. Maybe a quarter of the pressure of the other two. Press these halfway. Folds open. A lot less slop, so it stays straighter when it's coming on or off. And then, down at the buckle end of the clasp, you've got a different design. You've got the protruding pin down. It's not captured in the middle loop. It actually goes past where the strap would end up. Good for thin or thick straps. You can kind of compress it and really lock it into place for a thick strap so you know nothing you put in here is going anywhere. And I mean lock. This is not a tension fit. To open this, you keep pressing the lock tabs all the way in and it opens up. This is actually also locking. So you get the locking buckle and the locking mechanism. Absolutely fantastic. You put your end in there, you lock it down, bam, done. Close that up, locked, bam, done. I absolutely love the watch gecko. Is it worth four times as much? The answer is going to be, it depends on you. Between the Hadley Roma and the Chinese version, I cannot say the Hadley Roma is three times as good. These are minor, minor design differences, not quality differences, not usability differences, just design. This is the only thing you're ever going to see when the watch is on you or feel or anything is just the, the shape of that curve. Three times as much for a little curve change. The other thing is this Hadley Roma is hard to get. These things are always for some reason out of stock. I think it's because people are just recommending it. It, it really makes no sense to me. So this one, you can get it on Amazon. I had to do a back order for it. You know, it says uh, buy it now, we'll ship it when available. And I also got one because I was just trying to get stuff in. You know, anything, I needed stuff for projects. I got one off of eBay for the same price. So this one, readily available. Again, under lots of different names. But De Beer, it was, I think, $9, something like that, shipped with Prime. If you, if you just want the basic one, this is the one I would recommend. It's going to absolutely do the same job as the Hadley Roma for a third of the price. But four times the price. Is this worth four times the price? Again, to me, absolutely. Yes. The wait time, again, it's going to depend on your shipping option. I suggest spending the extra couple bucks, do it UPS. Note. Because it has to go through customs if you're not ordering from the UK, at least here in the US, UPS requires a signature for this. I almost missed a couple deliveries. I've had multiple watch gecko orders because they have awesome stuff, but I've almost missed a delivery because of the signature requirement. So just be aware of that. Have it delivered to your office, somewhere that can sign for sure, or just use the regular shipping because that'll transfer to the US mail service. Again, takes a week and a half to two weeks, but no signature required. So push pin design, no slop, solid end, locking buckle end, very easy, very satisfying to open and close. Totally worth it to me. Here's an example. On my Hamilton.
Look how easy that is to clip, to undo, light pull. See this stays straight, so it's just an extension of the strap. It's not flopping around, you don't have to worry about this bending back on itself. Everything just snaps right into place. Absolutely love it. The only improvement would be if they had micro adjustment. That's it, but that's true of 99% of them out there. Other than that, it's a great product. Highly recommend it. So I'll put links down to everything down below. Hope that helps somebody. If you're looking for a great upgrade from your standard buckle, especially single fold class, I think are just an excellent way to do it for peanuts. See you next time.